After a Game 1 victory over the Salem Red Sox on Wednesday, the Pelicans played Game 2 on Thursday. Well, at least sort of. They started, but it was suspended due to rain, so the game picked up on Friday night with a seven-inning game to follow. The Pelicans were trailing 1-0 in the bottom of the fifth when they resumed play on Friday evening. Let's see how Game 1 and Game 2 turned out. Let's rewind to Thursday first. First inning, the 19-year-old Wendell Riho at the plate. A missile off of starter Tyler Eyrig. Ball just barely gets out. First row, 1-0 Salem on the long ball. He's not even sure. The home run is his fourth, and it's the lone run Eyrig would surrender, and the only run we would see before the rain came in. With some early fireworks from Mother Nature and some dark skies in the bottom of the fifth. The Red Sox were just two outs away from the game being official. The Pelicans ground crew in front office bringing the tarp on the field. Fine job as always. And that's where we picked things up on Friday with one out on the bottom of the fifth. The Pelicans did not score in the fifth or the sixth or the seventh, but they did in the eighth. Boy, did they ever. Two on, one out for Mark Zagunis. Line drive to center. That's the way you celebrate your player of the month honors, which the Cubs bestowed on the 22-year-old on Friday. Tie game, Lockhart scores to make it one to one. After a walk to Young, Jamer Candelario. Uh, plate, he wastes no time. First pitch swinging, that's a gapper. All three runs come around. Candelario is in third standing with a triple his second of the year. Pelicans take game one, five to one. James Pugliese coming off his first loss of the year, picks up the win in relief with three scoreless innings. Myrtle Beach wins despite being out hit for the second straight night, and they win the series with the rain suspended victory. About 40 minutes later, they started game two. Jen Ho Sang took to the mound, and boy was he good on Friday. It's been a tough year for the 20 year old, but he pitched inspired baseball against Salem in the seven inning ball game. Just a little taste of it here in the first. That's Wendell Riho up the plate, and that's Wendell Riho swinging. Sang matched a season high with six strikeouts over five scoreless innings. Salem starter Teddy Stankowitz matched him though. We moved to the six, still scoreless. James Ferris on in his home debut. A single, a walk, and a sacrifice for two in scoring position for Mario Martinez. A good pitch, but even better hitting. Soft single to right brings in two runs. Salem tacked on another, but it was more than enough for Stankowitz. He threw the first complete game shutout for Salem since last May, striking out a career-high tying nine batters on just three base hits in his seven shutout frames. Salem wins the final game 3-0, but the Pelicans take the series 2-1. They'll head to Zebulon, where they'll celebrate July 4th at Five County Stadium with Jonathan Martinez on the hill. The All-Star looks for his sixth win. After three games on the road, the Birds are back in town for seven, beginning on Tuesday against the Winston-Salem Dash. As always, to find out what's going to happen at the ballpark when you make your way, we send it out to Hannah. Thanks, Nathan. Join us next week where we will kick off a seven-game homestand. We'll start off on Tuesday night with the Face Your Fears night. Thursday and Sunday, we will close with post-game fireworks. It's going to be a week to remember with jam-packed Pelicans fun. We'll see you at the ballpark.